Well, she won over the hearts of the nation when she returned to the kitchen in MasterChef Back to Win. And now, three months later, we're checking in with our favourite queen of desserts, Jess Lemon. Jess, welcome back to the Ben Robin Robbo Show. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, look, seriously, it's a pleasure. You are loved all across Australia and now the world. I, I can't even tell you, we're still getting comments from our interview with you because MasterChef is now airing in places like the UK. Is it strange essentially going through that whole process again as people watch it for the first time? Um, it is kind of weird. I think like I know that I think India just aired and then in internationally it just aired as well and then people would send their love to you and it's it's so sweet, um, so heartwarming. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good. Lovely. And what an opportunity it is as well. Like, you know, to be offered the opportunity to be on the show twice. How has being on MasterChef twice, cha twice changed your life? Um, it, I mean, it changed my life completely the first time around. But I think the second time around, now that I'm more older and more mature, it sort of helped me get my branding in check. I mean, now I have my own cake business. Um, we've renovated a space for a cooking school. But because of COVID, things has changed. Oh, yeah. um, but I am looking for a property. So we'll see how things go this year. So, Jess, would you ever go back or even as a guest judge? Oh, I mean, I wouldn't want to go back again as a contestant. It was so <laughs> stressful. Um, but I definitely would love to go back as a guest judge. <laughs> Those days are over. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. You know, when we, when we last spoke to you, you were planning on opening a cooking school, which is so exciting. How's the process going with that? Um, well, we wanted to start having the cooking school at the start of, I think, June, but then COVID mm. hit and then it was like, oh, okay, now we've got to do something else. But then because of COVID, I was able to actually push my mixed tart set, which I'm actually specializing in tarts, but I am still in the process of renovating the space and hopefully in the next few months, I'd be able to take some um, students in. So we'll see how it goes. So Jess, what is it about teaching people that you love? Um, I absolutely love teaching people because of the enjoyment of it. Like when you're teaching somebody and you can see them smile and learn something from you, I think that's pretty exciting. Um, but it's more about inspiring young kids to cook as well and truly really find their passion, whether it's cooking or something else. But it's just super exciting. You know, you are selling your amazing creations on your website and are constantly posting Instagram stories of all the hours, day and night. You know, can you start with the Instagram post? Because it's food porn and it's too much, <laughs> Jess. It's too much. We can't handle it. We can't take it. <laughs> but look, you're, oh, you're, you're sorry, actually... More <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the thing. You're baking and shipping out the orders yourself all through the night. Is this something you hope to keep doing or will you eventually need to outsource and keep up with the demand? Um, well, I've got a upcoming order this November, actually, um, and I've got 200 boxes to make all by myself. And that is about how much? That's 1,200 tarts I've got to make on my own. I don't have a team with me, so it is a bit nerve wracking. But I think once I generate um, a better income, then I'd be able to get my own space, maybe get up my own production kitchen and hopefully have my own shop front that people can come over instead of me delivering every single like Saturdays and Fridays. So we'll see. 2020 has taken a turn completely. <laughs> Fabulous. But just know you, you said 200, 200 boxes. Just make that 203. We're your friends here at the Ben Robin Robbo show. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I was just going to say, you released a wildly successful cookbook in 2019, which was called Zest of Jess. Can we expect a follow-up maybe with some new recipes for that book? Oh, so well, Zest of Jess definitely was a big milestone. Um, I remember I was inspired when I was, I think, 13 or like when I was nine, I received my first cookbook. And that's what started mm. my spark for like cooking all the time. And I am planning to do a another stock of the book or i might do a new book but self-publishing is super hard i don't know whether i want to do go through that book. stress <laughs> <laughs> well we hope you do and look you can keep up with jess's ventures on instagram at underscore jess lemon underscore jess we continue to wish you all the success come back whenever you want we love you we're big fans of you we can't wait to keep up with everything you're doing thank you for coming back and chatting to us on the ben robin robbo show thank you so much you guys see you later it's the Ben, Rob and Rob, 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 Ben, Rob and Rob